Hello you guys and welcome back to my walkthrough for Bound by Flame. Let's go ahead and uh, get to our objective. Okay, so it looks like it just loads a new area. Let's just get going. What do you have here? Well, let's go this way first, just to check out the corner. How do we jump down? Um. Okay, so. Uh, can we jump down? It doesn't look like we can jump down yet. I just noticed the game might be running a little choppy because I'm rendering part one in the background. Hopefully it doesn't stay like that for too long. Is everything okay, Buffalo? As long as I can hear them mumbling, everything is okay. One of those dead things managed to get as far as here, but I killed it before it could interrupt them. That's good news. The captain's holding the front entry, Hawk's on the west wing, I got the east. Got any idea where Peeler is? I think I saw him over on the east side. You should find him if you head over there. Thanks. I hope he's still in one piece. And, uh... You might want to check inside the invoking room. We just came across some specters. Those things can go straight through walls, and they might get in there without asking you first. Is that so? Yeah. It is so. None shall pass. Okay, looks like they got Peeler. Attacking with the daggers. The ranger combat style is more active than the warrior style, but the attacks and parries are less powerful. You can now change combat styles using V or tab in the tactical menu. Ooh. With ranger, use Q to jump backwards and dodge any attack. Still in combat. No. Tainted blood. See? Tainted blood is the same thing as Dragon Age. Being stealthy. Press X to activate stealth. You can also do it using tab damage is considerably increased when you surprise an enemy so x so it even changes how you see your screen Then he killed him. Okay, so obviously we need to change. Oh shit. Uh, to warrior stance. So it kind of 
Uh, it kind of stops a uh, time, but not really. The pause or the tab kind of just slows it down just a little bit. Oh, I don't want to. That. So we're level two now. If you've gained a level, go to the uh, skills in the game menu to spend your points. Okay, so this is the first time we get to spend any points. We get to choose between warrior and ranger. See, normally I like to play ranger. Okay, what do we have here? Speed of sequence of the daggers plus 30%, speed of sequence of the daggers 15%. Okay, so it would be damage of the daggers plus 10%, no interruption when an enemy parries your attack. Changes target during assault, enables faster movement in stealth mode, enables sprinting in combat, and there is more time to riposte. What does the warrior have? Damage from heavy weapons plus 10%. Charging time for assault is minus 25. Health regeneration in combat. Warrior stance only. Ability to interrupt plus 5 and parries attacks from the side. Hmm. I don't know which one I want to play. Normally I play... Hmm. Well, not ranger, but kind of like rogue. Damage of the daggers. I guess we can always... Try a couple. We can always... It looks like he could be either one. Okay, so let's do damage from heavy weapons, plus 10. Uh, you get to use one point. And... Oh, we could do damage from heavy weapons, plus 20%. No interruption when your enemy parries your attack. Whirlwind. Okay, let's just do this. Let's do one point to each ranger and warrior. No. Let's just do this. Damage from heavy weapons is plus 20%. Yeah, Morgan's so indecisive. Okay, we have no points remaining. Let's go back. Out. Biting Cleaver. Upgrading equipment. You can upgrade every piece of gear you own. Be sure to keep the components that could be useful to you. Okay, so... Equipment. Cleaver does more damage, so let's go ahead and equip... Oh, it's heavier too, but I get two bonuses. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we're going to equip and we're going to craft. So we have we can change the pommel. Pommel, um, L. Gandrian Pummel increases your chance of critical hit. Pummel of dis uh, Disruption increases the ability to interrupt plus one, or Pummel of Impact increases the damage by one. Let's do the chance for critical hit. 
Yes. And... Else we have chance of critical critical hit plus three. Oh no, okay. The moon guard is damage. Shot guard is ability to interrupt. Guard of the soldier physical resistance plus three percent. The simple guard protects the wielder from physical damage. Or guard of the swordsman critical chance plus three. Oh, I like this a lot. So, protects the wielder from physical damage. What do we want to do? Mm. Let's do plus one to attack. That sounds good to me. That's a little bit heavy too. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and keep that. We have our dual weapons. I want to equip it and see if we can upgrade damage or critical hit. Let's do critical hit. Designed to make weapons lighter so each blow is more accurate. Oh, we're missing three steel. Okay. I see. I see. Well, that's okay. No armor. Well, at least we got a better weapon now. I guess let's go ahead and look through here. This really shows what we have. Our skill tree. Our feet. What does this mean? Maximum health increases by plus 10. You earn more experience when you kill an enemy. You can carry more. Uh, well, yeah, why wouldn't we want to do experience? Alchemist. Uh, looks like we can't do that yet. Use fewer ingredients to make traps. Mm, we're just going to leave that for now. We have our attributes. This video is going to be long. Oh, we got magic points. Okay, so there will probably be a third class, which is going to be mage. So that's just our stats. We got quests. Our fights. Sorry, I think this episode is just going to be basically... Um... Fine peeler. I think it's just basically going to be going through here and, and seeing what we found. We got our map. Yeah, basically just the upgrades. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry this is a little bit shorter. But we'll go ahead and continue on in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting. I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.